Checking business news with Tyler Orton. Now, Tyler, uh, good morning, by the way. Good morning. Uh, developers love SkyTrain stations. Oh, do they ever? Um, they are paying big, big bucks to upgrade them and even add additional stations throughout the entire SkyTrain network. Now, uh, TransLink hopes to leverage this you know, ongoing trend at about 30 stations throughout the entire system over the coming years. Now, they have been putting up like millions of dollars just to upgrade a station. Now, if you take a look at the numbers here uh, and look at the Marine Station uh, over in Vancouver, we see that the PCI group put $2.5 million just for upgrades as they have developments going up there. Whereas if you go further down into Richmond, you see that the Polygon, uh, as well as Concord Pacific, and then Pinnacle Homes, or Pinnacle Properties, I should say, they've threw in $25 million together just to add an entirely new station at Capstan Village. Take a look at the next set of numbers. Uh, we see that even the Evergreen Line is benefiting from this. Uh, the Morgard Real Estate Investment Trust, uh, they're putting in another $28 million for a brand new station along the Evergreen Line. So this is obviously a big deal for these uh, companies. They're seeing that uh, there's obviously great, great benefits to having properties near the SkyTrain. Now, a 2012 study showed that uh, Class C buildings within 500 meters of a SkyTrain stop, they were outperforming Class A buildings a little bit further away. So it's obviously a big deal for these companies. Mm -hmm. So I, I would definitely uh, keep in mind that uh, even though these companies are putting millions and millions towards it, uh, it's not costing taxpayers anything for this additional infrastructure, which is why uh, TransLink as well as municipalities are really liking the these deals here. All right. Thanks for that. Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. You can get more at BIV.com.